All right, guys, we are out doing a video today outside. It is September, it's about 80 degrees, and we are reviewing Timu fishing tackle and gear. If you guys have not heard about Timu, Timu is basically an online marketplace and with multiple categories of super discounted products, super cheap, sometimes shockingly cheap products at super discounted rates. This is fishing gear that they decided to send us guys. They reached out to our channel and said, hey, you guys do fishing stuff. Would you guys like to review our stuff? And at first we kind of said, yeah, maybe. And then they said, how about we send you a link? How about we send you 100 hours of free fishing stuff? You guys can pick whatever you want to review on the channel. And we said, sure, we love free stuff. So that's what we have guys in front of us today. We have this package right here. It's kind of rough, and as you can see, I already kind of took a peek at what was inside, but I have not opened all the individual items. So that's what it's going to look like if you order from Timu. Right there, guys. It's uh, orange plastic, real thin. Uh, it's wrapped in clear tape. Yeah, kind of rough, but that's what it's going to look like if you order from Timu. The items inside I have not opened up yet, but they're all basically bass fishing items. Things that we can use right now because it's currently bass season and we're doing a lot of bass fishing. So I'm excited to get into this guys and open every single item. I'm going to be brutally honest with my review about every single item in here. And this is going to basically be a two part video that we're going to do. The first video is going to be basically the unboxing of this and showing everything and then the second video is going to be actually taking everything out as many of these items as we can and field testing them all at the same time we're going to do some kayak bass fishing at some local places that we know and we're going to see how everything in here performs so first before we get into this though guys i'm going to say one thing timu wanted us to really quick just mention that they have a ton of deals going on they have discount codes, which I'm going to put down here, as well as in the description of this video that you guys can use to get serious big discounts on Timu products. Um, if you download the Timu app, you can also get some serious good discounts. So if this seems like something that's for you and something that you can use and want to look into and possibly buy some things off the Timu website to test out for yourselves, use the code it's a 100 hour coupon bundle that they're offering right now guys and it's free shipping on everything free returns and they also have a price protection guarantee which basically means that within 30 days if something changes price and there's a difference they will actually refund you that money and you can get it back so look into that guys and see what you think but let's get into this package okay guys well here it is we're gonna open this up and inspect every item now again this is stuff from china is this stuff going to hold up is this stuff going to be quality or is it going to be junk we're going to look at everything and see so we got a lot of lures here we got some fishing line i got a lot of top water bass style lures that we're going to look at I think that's it. Yep. Okay, so we got some lures, we got some line pliers, we got a net that also comes with a fish gripper. You get that out and take a look at it. The three spools of braid. I got all different sizes of braid. I got a bass uh, wacky rig tool where you put the little rings on the uh, the worms. And in here. I got a whole set of these top water action lures, it looks like. So, we'll set all those out on the table. And over here I have a bag, it looks like. Yes, I remember ordering the bag. Okay. So, we have a really nice nylon bag. So, we'll start with everything in order the way I ordered it. And we'll go through everything here. Alright, I'm going to set some items aside real quick. And we're going to go through every single thing in order the way that I the way that I ordered it. So, guys, we're going to start off with this one. This is a Hunt House crankbait. We really got into crankbait fishing this year, so I decided why not? Let's try one off the Timu site and see if I can get this package opened here. How they compare to other crankbaits that we've used. Now, I'm not going to specifically say other companies that we've used. If you want to know, 
Um, it's all over my channel. You can go back and look. But there's the first product there, guys. It's got a little rubber band over the hook, so I'm going to take that off real quick. I kind of like that they had a rubber band on the hooks. It shows that they're trying to have a little bit of quality with their stuff here. All right, I'm looking at colors. I'm looking at appearance. I'm looking at the sharpness of the hooks. I'm looking at the, in this case, the square bill. And I'm going to see how this all performs later on. But right now, again, just looking at the looks of everything, um, the feel, the appearance. I always test my hooks out to see how sharp they are. And they feel pretty good, actually. Um, the rings, the hooks, everything look really good. Very sticky hooks. They got a real good sharp edge to them. The hooks are proportionate in size, like they should be, to the actual lure. That's another thing that I always look at. Are the hooks too small or too big, or do I got to change them out? They look good on this Hunt House crankbait. I can't read anything on these packages, guys. I mean, it's all... I'm not sure how good you guys can see that on the camera there. But... Um, yeah, it's all in Chinese writing. Yeah, on the back, I can only read so many things, but Hunt House Crankbait. And it kind of looks like, again, some other brands that we've been using over the summer. The colors, the appearance, everything looked great, so I can't wait to try that one out. I'm going to actually maybe try these in the pool, too, and just see how the action works before I actually take them out. So that's it, guys. That is the Hunt House KVD. It's actually listed as a KVD, which, if you guys know what KVD is, I think they're trying to mimic the KVD lures. It's a 2.5 square bill fishing crank hard floating lure uh, is what they have it as. And that one is listed at $3.99 uh, on their website. That's what I got it for is $3.99. So very nice, very good price, I would say. I think that might be... Uh, that might be a decent lure when we get out and try to use it. Okay, guys, next is a topwater frog. Uh, One-piece frog with rotating legs, realistic design for increased bites. Uh, $1.89 is what we got this for. Now, I have kind of shied away from using frogs like this, but my son loves to use this style frog here. Um, just looking at the package, it says, Excellent Lure ANFS Fishing. So, nice little package. Uh, colors look great. Hook points, yeah, fairly sharp. Fairly sharp. So uh, leg action looks good on this. Kind of white. It's got the weight back here like it's supposed to, so it sits upright in the water. I mean, it seems pretty similar to other ones we've used. It's not too big, not too small, and the hook points seem about the right size. So not too bad. Uh, again, got this one for $1.89. So that's, that's pretty pretty cheap. Okay, for $5.49, $5.49, we got this set of fishing pliers here. Now, I wanted a couple extra pliers because we started running low on fishing pliers, uh, and the edges started getting kind of dull, so I said, let's get a few sets if we're going to have this money to use off the website. Let's try out not just fishing tackle, but some of the actual fishing gear. Kind of cool colors on it, this purple and blue kind of rainbow color to them and I could pick multiple different colors that were on there yeah they got the cutting edges a real good cut right here down in the bottom and up here I forget the name of this but you could use it for all different um, you know lures to crimp that's what I was trying to think of crimping um, as well as getting the hooks out of the fish so got a stretchy cord on it we'll see how long this lasts here yeah it looks like it's got a kind of a uh, a uh, plastic weld there so good spring action to them it's not too big my son can use these and my daughter I'm sure they're gonna want to play with this so cool got a little carabiner clip made of aluminum so you don't lose them especially in the kayak so 549 guys okay next is fishing line guys I have three different sizes of braid I went braid because I like braid I've mostly gone to braid now with some exceptions um, so I got some 10 pound test, and I think these are two different kinds of 30 pound test that I got. So uh, the brand is Situation, Situation Pre-Braided Line Super, Super Strong Fishing Line. And the other two I got is this Line Think Goal, 4X Super Strong PE, it's PE fiber from Japan. So... Yeah, I mean, the colors look good. This is gray and this is green, as well as that one over there. Not too shabby. 
I can't wait to put this on some reels and try it out. So um, the prices, let's see what the prices were. For the big one, it was actually $11.99. $11.99 for 1,000 yards. Not too bad at all, guys. $11.99. Other fishing braid that I would buy from other places is, I want to say, starting at a minimum of probably about $14 for only a few hundred yards. So hopefully this stuff holds up. Let's see, we got a 10 pound and a 30 pound. The 10 pound came in at 349 and the 30 pound came in at 399. And these are both, uh, let's see, how many yards? It doesn't actually say, it says 300 meters, but it doesn't say yards. So whatever the conversion is on that, Awesome. I think it's going to work good, guys. Um, I'm going to try cutting this, pulling on it, yanking it. I'm going to try to do everything I can to break the fishing line to test it um, and see how well it cuts also. I'll know right away if this is garbage or if this is actually a good quality product. Okay, this is a fishing net. I'm very curious about this one. It also comes with some other tools. It's got a fish gripper. Okay, fishing gripper. Oh, another mini set of pliers. It's got a lot. Oh, it's got a lock. Okay, that makes more sense. And here is a telescoping net. Let's show these items real quick first, guys. Uh, this whole thing here came in price wise, it came in at $20.49. $20.49 cents for three different items. The pliers, they're kind of small, and they definitely look a little on the cheap side. But they got cutters here. Uh, very cheap molded plastic, it looks like to me. But is it usable? Yeah, probably. The little hook here locks in to keep it shut. So that's nice that it has that feature. Oh, and it has the, uh, the little pouch, little Velcro pouch if you wanted to wear it. It's got a little belt loop on it here. I probably won't do it. I just kind of throw it in my tackle box. So... Okay, the fish grippers, spring-loaded. It is going together all the way at the top of there. It definitely feels, quality-wise, cheap. I mean, it's a very light item. Um, got good spring action in it, though. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll test this out and uh, see how it lasts. Got a little lanyard on the end there, too, that you can adjust. So, very nice. Okay, the third item in that package is the expandable telescoping net. So, this is going to be interesting here, guys. Looks like I got a pull back. Looks like this is spring loaded here. And I got to pull it back as I rotate this part up. So, fairly deep, deep enough for a bass to get in there and uh, I like this rubberized material here the rubberized material is real good with the treble hooks which we have a lot of on these lures that we're gonna I'm gonna keep showing you here so if you get one in usually the hooks just come right out of this rubber so that's a very very good thing to have I don't like nylon nets we're going all rubber now on everything so very nice here's a little piece here it looks like it oh okay two unlocking parts here to telescope the net and they lock right right down so decent it locks right in it doesn't feel like there's any play in it um very lightweight aluminum handle you can tell right away it's very it's definitely on the cheaper side of everything uh but it might work i, I think colton's really going to want to try this and um yeah i can see reaching over the edge of a kayak with it and pulling some fish in so it's got kind of a soft handle on it. Uh, no lanyard, that's one thing I've noticed. It does not have a lanyard. Usually I like to put my hand through a lanyard and then hold on so the lanyard's around my wrist here and it doesn't have one. That's one feature I don't like right now, I can tell already about this. So it's got like a little key ring here holding the netting on. I'm not sure what that's about. That's different. I've never seen anything like that before. So we'll try it out though, we'll see how it works. Okay, next guys, I got an eight piece top water. I think there's eight of them here. An eight piece top water lure K 
kit. Yep, eight of them. All right, so basically these are similar to other brands, which I won't say, but you guys get it. Um, it's got the rotating thing on the end here. And uh, the action, I'm gonna open this up and test the action real quick. Right away, I can see the action. Um, I see what a brass, they did use brass ball and little pieces down inside here to keep everything moving where it's not going to rust up with the brass. So kind of nice. I'll get a little closer so you can see here. Those hooks are definitely sticky hooks. They're hooking right into my fingers. Size wise, uh, not too bad, but I would like the hooks to be a little bigger, about one size bigger personally than what they have on here. I've changed hook sizes as I've mentioned in other videos before. So I might end up doing that later if these don't perform well, which we'll, we'll see. Um, but they definitely seem like they're a little bit on the small side for what I like with my top water lures. I want the big bass to be able to hold on to these hooks, and that just might not be the case with these lures. So I'll show you guys just a few. I'm not going to show you every single one, but all different colors. we got everything from darks to lights to clears, uh, silvers, blues, greens. I kind of wanted stuff that was going to mimic frogs. So, yeah, um, that one's kind of like a perch color too, so or fire tiger, I should say. Nice looking lures. So the eight of these lures right here came in at $12.49. So significantly cheaper than what you'd spend at the store. In fact, if you guys have looked at prices of other topwater lures like these with the spinning end, they're well over $20 a piece for those, depending on the brand that you would get. They are very expensive. These, with the cheaper price, it might be a good thing, especially for children, if they're using these, that uh, if they lose a few, oh well, they were super cheap. So, eight of them for $12.49. All right guys, next is a nylon fishing bag. That's something we always run kind of short on, is fishing bags and equipment to get our fishing gear out on the water, whether it's on the boat or the kayak or just walking to a shore fishing spot. Uh, we're going to definitely be getting some more gear like this. So this is a super nice thing that we wanted to get. And this bag here came in at $22.09. $22.09. It's called the One Piece Fishing Backpack Tackle Sling Bag uh, with a shoulder strap and a rod holder. It's, uh, where's the rod holder? Hmm, somewhere, oh, here. Right here on the side, it looks like these two Velcro loops would be the rod holder, I take it. Uh, I got some strings hanging off already. Get rid of that. Fold it up here so it looks better. So right away, zippers look decent quality. I'm very surprised at the quality. Um, they, they're not YKK zippers or anything. They are just some other brand. Um, decent though. It's got some pockets on the inside here. It's got pockets across the front. Zippers are very free-flowing zippers. They seem quality. Um, I like the nylon material on this. It seems to really be decent. It's got these adjustable uh, things here that you can change to put other equipment on the side if you want to. This looks like it might be a water bottle pouch on the side if you want to bring a drink with you. Um, numerous different separate categories and separate pouches on them here. So a little Velcro spot if you want to add your patch. I know a lot of people like to add patches to their gear. Very cool. Very cool. I'm assuming something like this is probably for your phone up in the top here. Feels like it's about the size for a phone. Yeah, uh, shoulder straps. I'm not sure what this little piece is here, but it's got a big shoulder strap as well as a waist strap. So very nice, $22.49, and this is in the black camouflage pattern. Uh, come on the website, there was numerous different patterns that you could actually get this product in. So very nice. Okay guys, we have three of the same lure. Now I wanted to use our money as wisely as we could and I got three of these top water frog looking lures. They all kind of look similar to frogs. They're called, I can't even read it which direction it is, but anyway I can read that this is excellent lure on it. It says quality lure over here and N 
angle T, maybe? I'm not sure, but let's open these up. One of these is already opened, I noticed. The bottom here, it came like that too. The bottom was actually opened on it, which is probably not a good thing. Similar to the other top water lures, just a wider body, body pattern here. It's kind of fatter, but it's got that same type of spinning tail on it. Good colors, good eyeballs on them. Uh, the, the, the weight feels like what it should be. Um, I do not like silver hooks at all. I change out all my silver hooks, but we'll leave these on the field test it. Very, very sharp hooks, actually. Again, I, I probably will change the size on these, just like the other ones, because I, I don't care for smaller hooks on my top water. I like bigger hooks. Um, it seems to work better for me. So it's got the brass pieces in here to make sure they work properly. Um, actually, it has it on the end, but not in here, in the middle. So time will tell we'll throw these we'll see what we can catch with them but bigger lures for bigger fish hopefully so i got three of them all different colors so each one of these was 349 a piece three dollars and 49 cents and they're called the catch more fish with bkk hooks floating propeller tail teaser and pencil ploppers that's the title of it so decent looking little lure can't wait to try these out and finally we have the little wacky rig tool for bass fishing now i didn't get any bass worms but what it comes with is two different packs of the little rubber bands as well as the actual aluminum tool here you put your worm down in here and you would pull one of these little rings all the way down and then onto the middle of your worm here where it comes out of the hole. So we'll see how good these rings hold up if they break. Um, I have used these, we have two other ones, so we've used them before. We'll compare this to the ones we got. Uh, it's got a little ring here, a little keychain ring, as well as an expandable, yeah, expandable little thing here so you can clip it on to your life vest or kayak or whatever you want to so you don't lose it. That's very, very nice and it's got a very small carabiner that actually feels a little bit on the cheap side but it is what it is and we're happy that we have everything here so okay this came in as the bass fishing wacky rig toolkit with o-rings worm rigging tool clip bait tool keychain it came in at 4.99 not bad priced at all 4.99 you can't go wrong with that okay guys so there's everything opened that's the first part video um hopefully all this stuff's gonna work awesome for us here stay tuned for that next video i'll have it posted next week guys like down below if you like this kind of thing and subscribe if you haven't already we seriously appreciate it uh also look at those links from timu that i put down below and use that discount code if this interests you and this looks like something you'd really want to use and maybe buy some things off their site so check that out guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time